yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, so we touched a lot about like the whole street racing thing, but I actually just have some general questions I want to know. So like, what are some of the top speeds you've hit um, while racing like an Indy car? <laughs> So, uh, I think the fastest I've ever seen, uh, my telemetry was about 241 miles an hour. Wow. So you're kind of just flirting around the 400 K mark. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty, pretty quick. <laughs> um, and, uh, this is also just kind of a personal question, but I, I was curious, what kind of car do you drive on your own time? Uh, like at home? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good question. I, I get that one a lot. And, yeah. uh, and it, it, I think the answer is actually somewhat appropriate for this conversation because I drive an Acura MDX. You know, I, I drive a, an SUV. Um, and I think people always kind of expect a, a racing driver to have some sort of hot sports car. But um, the, the, the fact of the matter is driving on the road terrifies me compared to driving on the racetrack. Oh, and, wow. um, that's That's not even it's not even street racing. This is just driving down the road because again, uh, when I'm on the racetrack, right, I'm wearing far more safety gear. I'm in a car designed to keep me safe. I'm in a track designed to keep me safe, surrounded by medical personnel and EMTs. And I'm, and I'm also on the road with a bunch of professionals that have, have dedicated their lives to that craft. And, and I can almost predict what they're going to do because they are professionals. On the road, I mean, any anybody can jump in a car and be texting and driving, be drunk driving. Everybody is so unpredictable. The 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 difference in in skill, ability, comfort level, experience is massive. And like I said before, if something goes wrong, the consequences can be so much higher because you don't have all that added protection that you would mm. in a race car and on a racetrack. So I'm terrified on the road. I am constantly just paying as much attention as I can because I know how quickly things can go wrong and I know how much it hurts when something goes wrong. You know, that's one of the big things I think a lot of young drivers and, and even older drivers, if you've never been in an accident, you know, I sometimes do speaking engagements and, and, and this topic comes up and in a room of, you know, 300, 400, 500 people, I'll say, okay, who's, who's hit something going 50 kilometers an hour? Raise your hand, right? Who's hit something going 80 kilometers an hour? Who's hit something going 150 kilometers an hour? Who's hit something going 350 kilometers an hour? And all of a sudden, it's only my hand sitting up. <laughs> Oof. <Yeah. laughs> you know, and, and so a part, part of the thing is, yeah, part of the thing is, is, is that these, these people on the road, they don't, they don't know what it feels like. You know, until you get bit, you don't realize the risk you're taking sometimes. So to answer, I know it's a long-winded answer, but I, I drive an MDX. I don't, I, I don't need a sports car on the road. The way I, the way I look at it, I've got a really cool, you know, hot car. I get to drive on weekends, so I don't need anything fast yeah. on the road. 